a budget crisis yesterday after nearly a week of deciding council 94 accepted a contract that will cut pay but save jobs the agreement avoids layoffs and government shutdown days the cost-cutting measure is meant to help close a 68 million dollar budget shortfall but today it was revealed that rhode island's revenue is 30 million dollars less than expected so where is the extra money going to come from one option Embrace full-fledged casino gambling. New at 6, would Governor Don Kachiri support this possible option? Eyewitness News reporter Sean Daly joins us live with those answers. Karen, a casino in Rhode Island is an idea whose time seemed to have come and gone back in 2006, but not so fast. Talk of a possible casino is back on here at the State House. Nothing like a recession and persistent budget shortfalls to get a state's attention. Two of Rhode Island's top leaders, Speaker of the House William Murphy and now Governor Don Kachiri, are talking up the idea of putting the question of a casino in Rhode Island on the ballot again, this time in November of 2010. There are a lot of details, a lot of discussions, a lot of analysis that needs to be done before we do that. But at the basic question of whether to put it on the ballot, is the governor, as a minimum, on board with that? You know, it's, and the governor has always said that if um, the people of Rhode Island and the town want casino gambling, it does belong on the ballot for them to vote on. Presumably, the ballot question would be whether to turn the bankrupt Twin River gambling facility into a full-scale casino. Ultimately, the state has an obligation to protect that revenue source. That is an extremely valuable, vital revenue source to the state of Rhode Island. And we it's constantly number three, isn't it? I mean, it's huge, right? Gaming revenues are number three revenue source in the state of Rhode Island, and they've continued to go up, even in this economic uh, climate. Our lottery figures showed that they were holding strong throughout this year. Back to that reference there to gaming being Rhode Island's third largest revenue source they're third behind income and sales taxes. Live at the State House with the Providence Mobile Newsroom, Sean Daly, Eyewitness News.